Hi, I'm Jacob, and today we want to talk to you about Ambrosia Tales. So we have here an infestation of ambrosia beetles. Let me see if I can get closer so you can see it. They look like little bitty toothpicks sticking out of the fig tree. spent all evening researching this to see if there was any way we could save this tree. A lot of people say that you can attempt to douse it in pesticides and then hope for, wait for the best the following year. But since we are an organic farm, I'm not liking that idea very much. And yes, it is sitting right next to another fig tree. And the other one doesn't seem to be affected. Now let me tell you a little bit about what I read last night about ambrosia beetles. Um, they are attracted to a pheromone that the plant actually releases when it becomes sickly. This normally happens later in the spring say if it gets hot and then warms up and the tree starts to bud out and then you have another freeze which is basically what happened to this one um, we've had a really wicked beginning of spring here in West Georgia and it has basically done that three times this year already. It's gotten hot, then it's gotten cold, then it's got hot, then it's got cold again, and kept on doing that a couple times. And it has basically weakened the immune system of this poor fig, fig bush. Now, I don't like to give up on things, and if I can make it, help it survive, I'm gonna do whatever I can to make that happen. So, me and my husband got to doing a little research last night and was read, reading up on it. We thought, well, since it's due to a weakened immune system, maybe if we try to help the plant a little bit, that maybe it'll um, be able to fight it off or survive the infestation. So, this is our plan. I'm going to pull the landscaping timbers up that are in front of it and then I'm going to pull some of the dirt and mulch out from around it. That way there won't be water sitting at the bottom of it at all. It'll just completely run off dry this, um, this spring and summer. Then I'm going to go to the store and get some fertilizer fruit spikes. Hopefully we can find some organic ones, if we're lucky. And then I'm gonna feed the tree. Then I'm gonna get some organic insecticidal soap. You know, the kind that smells like um, mint and lemongrass. It's got a real strong odor to it. I'm gonna get that and I'm going to douse this tree with this organic solution. Hopefully if we can make it smell less like the pheromone that's being released from it, maybe it won't like it. The hope is that we'll be able to make it so unhospitable that it, these beetles will just decide to leave and abandon their, um, their egg satch. So that leads me to what else these things actually do 
to your plants when they burrow into the tree I hope you can see that it looks like a toothpick sticking out when they burrow in they inject the branch with a fungus and dun, 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 they lay eggs so it's either do what I just mentioned or basically tear it down and burn it which is what my son says we should do can you believe that over a year ago this big bush was ravaged by ambrosia beetles the big bush survived despite the damage done one year later and it's already producing I hope you've enjoyed our video here at Wildberry Cottage If you have, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Maybe even comment below. Until next time, peace and blessings.